3,300 people are here at the sold-out National Pro-Life Summit. Yesterday was an extremely historic event. The first sitting U.S. president ever spoke at the March for Life. And in typical Trump style, Trump did not hold back. Now, this morning, pro-lifers received yet another shot in the arm, this time in the form of an invocation from His Eminence, Cardinal Raymond Burke, one of the foremost defenders of Catholic Orthodoxy in the entire world. You are the young men and women, many of you born after 1973, are deeply conscious of what abortion, procured abortion, means, and you are acting on that uh, consciousness which speaks to your own hearts, in which God has inscribed his natural law, the first precept, precept of which is to defend and promote human life. Honestly, it was extremely inspiring seeing him walk out on the stage. I was not expecting it at all. Um, I think having big people in the Catholic uh, Catholic world, I guess, having them up on stage speaking to us, it's incredibly inspiring to me as a young Catholic. I think Cardinal Burke's a real hero uh, for the church. Uh, he is speaking truth uh, that people really need to hear right now, and his courageous witness where he's going to do the right thing no matter what is really important. People need clarity, people need truth about the right to life, about what is actually true, and about the gospel, that the gospel truth, the beauty, the freedom, the goodness, the love of Jesus Christ is never changing. Uh, and so, very happy, and we need that, uh, really that pastoral support and that clarity uh, from our Episcopal leaders within the Catholic Church. Oh, it was pretty amazing. He, uh, he's, such a, he's such a strong Catholic, and he, he's really like great to look up to. He's very empowering. Um, having him here today was, first of all, a surprise. I didn't know that he was actually coming, so when my brother and I were out there, uh, we, we were just so shocked and like just so excited. Um, he, he really is just super strong in the faith and what he does, and, and he really inspires us to be strong, stronger Catholics. Especially to see someone that we as students, college students, look so up to, to see him walking with us and to speaking about such a topic that's definitely so controversial nowadays, to have him with us and stand by us as we walk through as well. And also President Trump, I think that's really remarkable to be the first president to stand by all of us Catholics and everyone who's for life and I think it was pretty remarkable. Everything that he was saying to us and it was expressing how pro-life he was and how like loving for life he was and how happy he was to see us all out there, yeah. it made me want to especially pray for him more yeah. and um, support him more and I wish I had one year away from being able to vote but um, <laughs> right. yeah um, I, I, it was just an amazing experience it, I, it's hardly like I can't really explain that much how it was because it was just amazing. It was so wonderful to just have someone who you know if the President of the United States to stand up for something that's just so important to so many people was amazing just because it's all the past presidents and then finally someone who stands up for pro-life is amazing. Oh.